crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I'm here with some happy mail. Um, this comes from Nicole and um, as usual, she has collected some of my purchases for me so that I can save on some shipping. And so she finally had enough for to put a, together a box for me. Um, so honestly, whenever I do this and I, I order things and have them shipped to Nicole, a lot of times I forget what I've ordered. <laughs> so by the time I get the stuff from her, it's like a surprise for me. Um, certain things I remember ordering and some of them I don't. So let's dive in and see what there is because I'm sure there's some things that I won't remember and will be like a surprise. Okay, so the first thing here... Oh, this is, oh, this is a little, I don't recall ordering this. So I think this is a little bit of love mail from Nicole thrown in here. Let's see what this is. I think I should have scissors for this. Oh wait, oh, it's coming out. Okay, let's see here. So. Oh, it smells good. I can smell it. I think that's a bath bomb. And what's this? Feel, feel better soon. Sorry guys, I don't I didn't realize I wasn't on camera there. This is ooh, a big bath bar, lavender and oat. It smells really nice. And then this is a sample. Merla, it's me. Ripe reds and warm spice. Hand cream. Oh. And then behind it is another one. What is this one? It's really hard to get it out. Don't get tied down. It's another hand cream. Oh, nice. And then a bath bomb at the bottom. Thank you, Nicole. I was not expecting that. Okay. And I've just, okay, there. All right. So the next thing, this, I definitely know what this is. So this is something that I ordered off of Amazon. There's a few things I ordered off of Amazon. I learned about this from the American Girl group I'm in on Facebook. This is a, a shop on Amazon called My Genius Dolls, and they have the cutest American Girl like dolly outfits and costumes. I totally just ruined that Ziploc bag, but that's okay. Um, okay, so this is one of them, and this is super adorable. And it is, oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. It's a um, giraffe onesie pajama thing. And so it Velcros up the front. It's got the hood with the giraffe face. It's got a little giraffe feet. And then there's two. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so this is the doll size eye mask, sleep mask, that's like a giraffe. And then I think this one was is supposed to be a girl size sleep mask. So, um, so that's one. 
American Girl item. Really cute. I thought it would be cute for a Halloween costume. Ooh, what's this? Oh my gosh! It's a Cards Against Humanity expansion pack. Saves America. Oh my gosh, thanks Nicole. It has been so long since we've played Cards Against Humanity and I keep meaning to pull it out at our doll days to play because I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, so now I have an excuse to pull it out and we can try the new cards. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. My, the uh, Frosty Sparkle Flats finally are here. And oh yeah, I forgot about this too. Um, Nicole picked me up this adorable llama ugly Christmas sweater and um, it can be used as like a tree ornament. I have a ugly Christmas sweater tree ornament that my mom gave me but also Nicole saying like you can um, cut it off the hanger and it can be a elf on the shelf sweater. So that's, that's so cute. Look at the big llama. It's all 3D. It's really cute. And then these are the shoes. I love them. I'll just take out one. It's that nice rose pink, pinky, peachy <laughs> color sparkly shoes for the, um, the frosty frills collection. I only got the shirt and the skirt, I believe, and vest dress. So I needed some of these other items. And then this is another one from Amazon. And this is super adorable. Um, this is where, this is the one that I saw in the group. And it's a ugly Christmas sweater dress, I believe. It's like a sweater dress. And as you can see, it has Rudolph on it. And it is a light up Christmas sweater. Um, I'm not sure how it works. Oh, there's like a little battery pack. How do you turn it on? Because I, I want to see how it works. How do you... Oh, there's a tab that you have to pull. Okay, well, I'll save it for Christmas. I can show you guys when, when my dolls wear it for Christmas. But it's a light up. His nose lights up. And then there's little lights in the snowflakes as well. So I thought that was something really different for my AG dolls to wear. Um, let's see what's next. Um, okay, let's do this. So, um, these are some Honest Diapers. Nicole and I split a pack again. Um, this is, this is the, um, what's it called? Uh, Dr. Seuss print. So there's two different prints. There's a white one that has, um, oh, what is that? Is that the Heffalump? Is that what the elephants are called? Heffalump and flags and hot air balloons and stuff. And then there's one that's blue and it's got the balloon, the hot air balloons. I forget what those creatures are called. There's like a little castle. There's more heffalumps on there. So it's just like a different print, two different prints. Super cute. I like the Dr. Seuss print. Then we have Sweet Dolly. This is also from Amazon, from a different seller. I just happened to stumble upon it as I was purchasing the other ones and thought this would be really cute. So this is the Magic School Uniform. It's essentially a knockoff of a Harry Potter uniform. Um, just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to take it out right now. I'm going to save it for Halloween. You'll see it then. But it has like the cape, cloak thing. 
It's got the gray sweater with the stripe around the collar. It has the pleated skirt. <clears throat> it has the necktie, the button-up collar, white collar shirt. It's got the little socks, the Mary Janes, and then it has the wand. And, I mean, I know I have the My Life as Wizard outfit for Halloween, but it's not... It's not as, um, I guess, it doesn't look quite as much like Harry Potter as this one does. Um, and then at least it'll give me, like, because I, you know, I like using one for Zoe. Um, and then I can use one for my 18-inch dolls. So there's that one. And at the side here, we have more of the Frosty Frills collection. So this is the um, Sprinkled with Frost Leggings and Tights set, which I love. So it's got that peachy rose gold kind of tight that's all sparkly. And then um, you have leggings that are all like silver sequins. Um, and then this was from last year's winter set. And I missed out on getting it and I finally found it. It's the Winter Sparkles skirt. So now I can complete that mix and match outfit. And then we have the, oh yeah, I forgot all about this. I forgot about it. This is the um, World Traveler uh, Italy outfit. Uh, Nicole found it. I believe she found it on sale for me. Um, and then, oh, she combined another Amazon outfit in the box. So this is another sweet dolly outfit and it's a cute reindeer outfit. So I'll show you guys that. That's on top first. And then we'll look at the Italy outfit. <clears throat> oh, and there's a cute little... Um, Okay, there's a few things in here. So there's a cute little American Girl shopping bag, doll size. And then this is the deer outfit and it looks really nice from the pictures. Um, I've seen it on a doll on Instagram, I believe, and I liked it. So it's just a white long sleeve shirt that has um, like a vinyl decal of a reindeer with some leaves. And then it comes with this cute tulle skirt. It's brown with white uh, felt polka dots. And a cute little furry um, khaki colored vest. Some white tights. These tights feel quite cheap, but I mean, they're not, I mean, not bad. Not bad for knockoff brand quality. Um, and then we have a little um, hair, oh, it's two hair clips. So you put one on each side that has the reindeer antlers and ears and some little white pom-poms. So I thought that would be cute for um, winter slash Christmas. I thought that would be really nice. I like the little reindeer antlers. Super cute. And so these actually aren't tights. They are knee highs. They are knee high socks. With that feel of a, a tight. And, oh, what's this? Uh, Nicole gave me a ring pop. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. And, oh, yes. And then this is another part of the Frosty Frills outfit. Um... It is the boots. I forget the name of them. But it is the white boots. It's got the fur trim and it's got like the sole of the boots are gray, a light gray and there's a light gray like velvety material bow. And then the, oh, there's a cute little car. It looks like um, from a Kinder Surprise, I think, in there. It was in the boot. 
And then here is the Italy outfit. So it comes with a nice straw hat. It got a little bit dented, but that's okay. And, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe. Um, and then it's got these brown strappy sandals. The dress is a, like a turquoise color with reds and mustard yellows and pinks, like all these designs. The straps are turquoise ribbon. Um, and then it's got this brown sort of string belt. And so that's the Italy outfit. And of course it also comes with the, um, the little Italy brochure. <clears throat> so there's the doll wearing the outfit. So it just talks about Italy. And then, oh, here's the name of the boots. She cut them out for me. Thank you, Nicole. They are the Flur Furry Flurry Boots from the Frosty for Frills collection. I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, and then uh, she also pointed me in the direction of this on eBay for, like, a really great price. It is the freebie from Girl of the Year 2020 Joss. And it's the Shine Athletics. It's her little drawstring backpack. So, because I did not, I don't even know if Indigo, I don't think Indigo even had Joss's freebie. Or if they did, uh, I somehow completely missed out on it. Because I did not buy Joss. Uh, on New Year's Day. I believe I went to the release, but I did not, um, I did not buy her that day. So maybe that's why I didn't get it. I, I don't know. Or I don't even, like I said, I don't even know if they had, um, had her freebie. Um, okay. Then there was these cute books that Nicole came across. I forget what store she found them at, but it's a countdown with Lisa Frank. So my 80s heart was like, ah! So this is like a cute children's counting book. Really cute with Lisa Frank. And then there was ABC with Lisa Frank. And they were only a dollar each. How crazy is that? So that's really cool. And then finally, we have... The, I forgot all about this too, the Welly Wishers Reindeer PJs, which I have been wanting for a while now. I completely missed out on them. I don't even think they got them here in Canada. And uh, I missed out on, well, when I went to finally order them, they were sold out on, on American Girl. So it's cute. It's got like a little Santa hat. A uh, long sleeve top that's red at the top and the arms. And then the body is like a white furry thing with like a little reindeer, sleeping reindeer face. And then it's got these cute red leggings. And I believe the 18 inch version of it has the same leggings, but the top is different. And the leggings have, <clears throat> excuse me, they have snowflakes, Christmas trees and stars. And then there's these cute little red slippers with the pom-pom on it. So I am excited. Everything's about to fall down here. Um, I'm very excited to have these items. Now comes the fun of putting all of it away. <laughs> and trying to figure out where I'm going to put it all. The fun of doll collecting is figuring out where to store everything. But I always figure it out. I always figure out a way. And when my grandma visited with my mom and my uncle, my uncle could not stop uh, complimenting me 
on how organized our apartment is. He's like, even though he's like, even though you have like this doll collection that, you know, you have a lot of stuff for it and you have a lot of arts and crafts supplies. He's like, it doesn't look cluttered. Like, He's like, your apartment doesn't look cluttered. Like, he, he's like, you can't really see how much stuff you have because it's all like stored away and like organized and everything. So that, that just, I, I was quite pleased to hear that because like, I, I do hate when things look cluttered. Now, the closet in the office when you open it it's a bit crazy in there but overall i have things organized so that i know where everything is um i can find things easily and yeah but it gets to it is getting to a point where i'm running out of space and i'm having to get more creative but I think very soon I'm going to have to do a big purge um, to, to make things a little bit more organized to my liking. But overall, he's right. Like, I've done well. Like, um, even though I have a large doll collection, it's spread out in a way that it, it doesn't look cluttered. It doesn't feel overwhelming or cluttered. Um, he, he's like, I, he just is like impressed with the way I have everything. And, um, even when he had to go into our storage closet to throw something in the recycling in there, um, he was like blown away by how I have all of my, um, supplies for nannying. Um, I have all these bins in there that are labeled and organized for like holidays, seasons, sensory, art, cognitive, like everything is in categories, in bins, so that I can just grab and go. Um, and he was like majorly impressed with that too. So <laughs> that just like made my heart happy getting those compliments. Um, but anyways, yeah, so now comes the fun. Because I also have some other AG outfits I haven't put away yet either. So just do it all together. Um, but it's not too bad. I think um, these, like the Welly Wishers, I have a trunk for. And there's still room in there. So the Welly Wisher stuff will be easy. The mix, the mix and match stuff is just, they have like, I have in drawers. So it should all fit pretty well. Um, the Christmas stuff I won't be able to store because I, well, I'll just have to stash them somewhere for now, but I have a bin for my AG Christmas outfits and it's like back where all the Christmas decorations are stored. So I'm not dragging, I'm not digging that out just to put like two Christmas outfits away. So I'll just have to stash those somewhere until Christmas comes around again. But everything else, I, f I pretty much figured it out. So anyways, thank you again, Nicole, once again, for helping me get this stuff. I know this one was a little bit of a hassle. <laughs> we had a whole situation getting this package. Um, because Alex had ordered something as well. And his item had our package sent back at the border. <laughs> because it was deemed flammable and so then Nicole had to ship my stuff in one box and then tried to look into shipping his items separately found out it was going to be this whole big thing so then his item ended up being shipped back to the company the company was kind enough after they heard what happened to give him a store credit to repurchase the item and have it shipped directly from the company to Canada, which we had basically avoided doing because of the cost of the shipping directly to Canada, thinking it would be cheaper sending it to Nicole and paying 
for her to ship it, but it ended up costing twice as much because he, we had to pay, well, he paid the shipping thinking it was being shipped here. Then it got sent back. Then he had to pay to ship it back to the company. Then he had to pay the original shipping to Canada. It was a whole big thing. So, but anyways, he got his, his item the day before I got this. And now my stuff is here, so it's all good. But thank you again, Nicole, and thank you for the extra goodies. Okay, guys, so as I was putting away all the stuff that Nicole sent me, <laughs> I discovered these in one of the boxes. She had um, stashed this in one of the American Girl outfit boxes, and I didn't realize she had done that. And again, I totally forgot all about these items. So let me quickly show you to them. So this is a handmade um, matching earring set for Corinne and Gwen. And yeah, Corinne and Gwen. Um, now, my Corinne and Gwen do not have their ears pierced right now, but I hope to get them done. So these are earrings for them now. Funny enough, um, so the person shipped them in these really cool little Ziploc pouches. Um, and they all came in this cute little organza bag with hearts. But I'm trying to figure out how these go on these. Oh, actually, never mind. Um, I see now how they go on. I wasn't sure because they had like this silver, I don't know if you can see it this silver piece in there and I was like how does that hook up onto AG earrings but now I realize you just take those out sorry it's blurry you take those out and then you've got the um come on focus camera you've got the little gold hoop there and then the stud goes through there so it's like a, a lavender color heart trimmed in gold and so both pairs are the same and then there is matching necklaces for Gwen and Corinne so um again they're on a gold chain and it's got that same purple heart as the earring but it also has a white heart and a red heart um and the center is hollowed out on those ones and so these are supposed to be modeled after, um, I believe in the book, the, the girls have matching necklaces like that that have three hearts dangling down. So, and then it also has, oh yeah, and they also each have um, a gold heart that says made with love. So cute little necklaces for Gwen and Corinne. So they're matchy matchy. And then there's this kit, uh, Elf, it's for Elf on the Shelf. Um, so it says, give this gift to your Elf and be amazed by the Elf Doctor. So um, you leave this out and then the Elf Doctor is going to use this kit to make Elfie do amazing things, um, you know, so that they can bend and grip and things like that. I, um, we already had Elfie go through a process to try and achieve this, but I don't think the doctor did a very good job. Um, and so we're hoping that this kit will help the doctor do an even better job this time so those are the items i just wanted to show you those because i like i said i totally didn't realize she had put them in the box until i started putting stuff away so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time bye